So Ted Cruz is doing this uh, goofy tour where he's promoting psychotic candidates. And um, I guess people from Showtime are following him. And uh, we got quite an exchange here. So Tim Miller says, This week I, ha I guest hosted Show the Circus and ran into my old friend Ted Cruz in Arizona. I asked him if he stands by his objection to the state's 2020 electoral vote. And well, it gets a little hot. Enjoy this teaser and tune into Showtime on Sunday at 8 for the full deal. Okay, here we go. So, let's see how Ted Cruz reacts to very reasonable, straightforward, not insane at all questions. Hey, Senator. How good to doing? see you in Arizona. It's good to be here. You objected to the 2020 vote here in Arizona uh, and uh, in the Senate. You were the lead Senate objector to that. Since then, there have been a few audits. The Republican governor, Republican Senate president, the Republican Speaker of the House all said the election was fair. Do you disagree with Doug Ducey and agree with Blake Masters and Kerry Lake, or have you changed your view? It's been, a, it's been two years now. There's a reason the media is a joke, because questions... Okay. Now, that question he just asked... Think about it for a second. Is that not a reasonable question, given the current political climate? Saying, hey, look, there's plenty of Republicans now who say, no, the election wasn't stolen, relax, let's look forward, not backwards, etc. And then there's, you know, Blake Masters, Carrie Lake, Donald Trump, all of his endorsed candidates who are still obsessing, oh, oh my God, it was stolen election, rigged, blah, blah, blah. Well, they're in Arizona. He's asking, look, we did the Arizona audit to determine whether or not there was fraud. There was not. Not only did Biden win, he won by more than we thought he won by on election day. So you were one of the people who voted against certifying the election. What's your view now? Do you think I was wrong to cast that vote or was I right to cast that vote? Is there anything fishy? Do you think the election was rigged? Do you think it was stolen? Perfectly reasonable. Now, Ted might not like this guy's demeanor, but I don't care. It's a fair question and he's gonna melt down in reaction to it. House all said the election was fair. Do you disagree with Doug Ducey and agree with Blake Masters and Kerry Lake, or have you changed your view? It's been, a, it's been two years now. There's a reason the media is a joke, because questions like that, please, let's have one Republican fight with another Republican. Let me tell you what the people of Arizona can He's asking your view on if you think the election was stolen still, if it was rigged, if it was fishy. That's what he's asking. Perfectly reasonable question. I'm, I'm not going to fight with other Republicans. Me. Care about that we have the highest inflation in the country in the Phoenix area. He didn't ask about inflation. The people of Arizona care about is they can't afford to put food on the table. They can't. He didn't ask about food on the table. Afford to fill their car. He didn't ask about gas. The people of Arizona care about is the murder rates that are out of control. What the people of Arizona care about. He didn't ask about crime. About people of Arizona, Arizona voted for. Look at the face. Look at her face. This is great. This is awesome. This is just some other reporter. You don't know her politics. She could be a Republican. But look at how, look at the reaction. People of Arizona care about is the murder rates that are out of control. What the people of Arizona care about? The people of Arizona, <laughs> Arizona voted for Florida. Joe Biden. Look, I right, get now, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's all these problems. Look at all these things that are going on. A lot of problems. A lot of problems. People of Arizona. That's how I'm here for the people of Arizona. Okay, well, they voted for Biden. Did I, they not? Did they or did I they not vote for you Joe Biden? Your job. Did they or did they not vote for Joe for Biden? Democrats. Did they or did they not vote for Joe Biden? But that's I'm not your you job, and I don't care about your political agenda. I don't have, this I'm asking election. you, okay, did, you tried to question. object you're to done. their, to you're their done. vote. You're done. Why am I done? You, be, because you're being a hack. Oh, oh my God, that triggers me. You, Ted, are the world's biggest hack. Dude, if you think the election was still stolen, say it. Say it. Say, yeah, I still think it was fishy. I still think it was stolen. Bring up some bullshit from, you know, Dinesh D'Souza's non-documentary documentary about the rigged election. Cite that. Cite some shit from Mike Lindell, who's currently on his, like, 14th psychotic break in front of the entire world to see. Cite some shit from a QAnon message board, for all I care. If you think it's stolen, stand on that, son. Say it. Puff your chest out and say it. You're not saying it. Why aren't you saying it? If you think it's not stolen... Be a man. Stand up and say, look, I voted to not certify the election. I was wrong. I've seen all the evidence since. We've had over 60 court cases, and Trump and his team has lost them. Um, you know, now we're years past the election. It's time to move on. It's time to... Then you could say, let's focus on these other issues, because I'm, I answered your question. Now let's focus on inflation. Let's focus on gas prices, et cetera, et cetera. That would have been fine. But he didn't answer. He didn't address it at all. He didn't say, yes, I still think it was rigged, or no, it's not rigged. Or, yes, I changed my view. Or, no, my view is the same. He didn't say any of that. He just goes right into, let me just attack the meat. And he calls this guy a hack. 
these guys are such frauds. He's such a political operative. He's just, he's a weasel trying to sniff out where the power is, and he's trying to hitch his wagon to wherever he thinks will go the furthest. And so he still thinks Trump is the dominant wing of the Republican Party. It's right according to the numbers. And so he's not going to cross certain lines. He learned his lesson. And he learned his lesson firsthand because in 2016, Trump sunned his ass. Trump was going after his family, basically saying his wife was unfuckable, his dad killed JFK. He was vicious against Ted Cruz. And Ted Cruz pretended to be principled and went out at the Republican convention and said, vote your conscience. And then he immediately fell in line when the donors called him in and said, who do you work for, bitch? You better back Trump. And then Trump, Ted Cruz was phone banking for him with that sad face on, vote for Trump, me, I'm Ted Cruz, me, I have zero self-respect, me. And this is where we are now, man. This is where we are. So weaselly, he will not even answer the most reasonable, straightforward question of all time. What's your view on the whole election being rigged thing now, man? Have you changed it? Is it the same? We've now had the audit. Has that changed your opinion at all? The results are in? No, oh, he just doesn't want to piss off that base. And by the way, Ted Cruz knows. The dude is like Ivy League educated. He knows the election wasn't stolen. He knows. He doesn't care. He doesn't care in the slightest to lie, to play hide the ball with his true beliefs. And he has the nerve to call somebody else a hack as he's in the midst of the hackiest rant I've ever seen in my life. I would have more respect for him if he was wrong, if he was just willing to say, yeah, I still think it's rigged, and here's why. I'd have more respect for him if he did that, because at least it'd be straightforward. At least it'd be like, oh, okay, so you're, you're genuinely crazy. You're genuinely Marjorie Taylor Greene level off your rocker. But no. Nope. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, Ted Cruz had agreed. Trump asked him. And Ted Cruz agreed, yeah, if this gets to the Supreme Court, I will argue that the election was rigged at the Supreme Court. That's what happened during all the brouhaha and the mayhem after the 2020 election. That's what happened. So, again, he's willing, he's going to go wherever the power is. There's never been a less principled person in politics in human history. And that says a lot, doesn't it? Because politics is full of disgusting, grotesque, weaselly slime balls. And Ted Cruz somehow takes the cake, man. He does. He takes the cake. So, hey, credit to this guy, um, Tim Miller. Tim ODC. Actually, he follows me here. I'll follow him back. He earned it. You earned it, Tim. Very impressed with your very basic question, which didn't get an answer at all. Um, look, but in all seriousness, this is kind of scary, right? Because... You have the, the entire Republican Party, all, virtually all the elected officials, either they're outright Kool-Aid drinking crazy in Trump's cult, will go on full postmodernist, deny objective reality, whatever the dear leader wants, they will follow with him. Or they know it's bullshit, but they don't dare speak up. This is all the elected officials, all of them, all of them. That's not sustainable in the long run. We have two major political parties in what's supposed to be a democracy. And one of them is kind of openly anti-democracy or silently accepting anti-democratic actions from within their caucus. Because then what happens in the next election, right? And then the one after that. It's like we're skating on the thinnest ice of all time here. But they don't care. Just rank careerism and uh, fear fear of getting Trump's ire, even though the dude is like kicked off of every major social media outlet and they still fear him calling them out, them out in a rally or whatever. Just extra cucked, man. I've never seen anything like it. Now, I need you to imagine for me for a split second what it would feel like and what it would look like if you had a Democratic president who was uncorrupted, who actually fought for the people who had this much sway over their own party. Wouldn't that be something? It's like FDR when he famously said, like, I welcome their hatred, talking about the big money interests. And he had the entire country was hanging on his every word and were with him and wanted him to take on the moneyed interests, wanted him to do the right thing politically. 
Imagine a Democratic president, president with this much power and sway and support among their own caucus, and even to the point where their own caucus feared them because they don't want to step out of line with the, the popular social democratic leader. Then we'd be talking about getting res actually getting results. Whereas, unfortunately, the Democrats are, don't have that dynamic. The Republicans do, but it's all in service of authoritarianism and cultishness. So, it is, uh, it's not a pretty thing to see. That's for sure. Ted Cruz, you're a massive weasel, and fuck you. All right, guys, that's the show. I love you all very much. Thank you for listening. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please click like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Help your brother out in the algorithm a little bit. Still trying to crack a million subs. Struggling, struggling, but we're trying. Climbing that mountain ever so slowly. So uh, definitely hook me up on that front if you can. I know, what, like 20 or 30% of the people who watch the videos aren't even subscribed. So if everybody subscribed, we'd crack that million number. But, you know, it, it's still a fight. It's still We're still trying, especially with the algorithm biased against us. So uh, big shout out to all the patrons who support this show. You guys mean the world to me. Big shout out to all the people who support Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. You guys mean the world to me as well. Those links are in the video description box below if you could support Support us on uh, e either of those ways would be would be wonderful. And then everybody, again, can listen to now the full shows on um, any of the podcast outlets where you listen to stuff. You can now get the full Kyle Klinsky shows uh, every day that we drop one. You can check it out over on you know Spotify or Google Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. So that's a relatively new thing we've been doing, kind of exciting. Um, and yeah, you guys keep us free. You keep us independent. It's because, you know, we fund the show through you guys, small dollar donations, never had a conversation with an advertiser in over a decade of doing this. Very proud of that fact. Um, I love y'all very much. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace. Hey y'all do me a favor and like, and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know, you want to.